This is the 44th annual Ebony Ball, put on by the African American Society on the campus of Case Western Reserve University. We use it as a way to celebrate um, black culture and achievement here on campus. And this year the society president had another idea find a way to give back. The scholarship is going to be for high school students within the Cleveland Metropolitan School District. And so we wanted to honor uh, Michael Chapman's name because we know he was a very helpful person. This emotional presentation was the least Eric Stewart could do. He says Michael Chapman's story was hard to keep out of his mind. He was an amazing person. But sadly, the 17-year-old John Hay High School quarterback was shot and paralyzed last summer in a drive-by shooting on Cleveland's east side. He suddenly passed away on July 23rd while in rehab. Doctors said that the bullet, which was still lodged inside his body, had traveled and caused internal damage. He wasn't really worried about himself. He just wanted to make um, everybody else happy. Michael's family was front and center Saturday night holding a picture of their loved one for all to see. It just made me say, let me get up and, and, and represent my son. So that's what I'm here to do today is represent my son. And I know he's proud of me and I'm very proud of him. And Saturday night, this crowd heard about Michael's wonderful qualities that a mother knew so well. He always tried to help people, so this will give, he will basically be giving back to the kids with the scholarship. And I'm very, just like I said, I'm very proud. A special honor that won't soon be forgotten. In Cleveland, Allison Brown, Fox 8 News.